some of you are sowing into demonic soil be careful of every so-called man of god and prophet prophetess and pastor that you guys are coming into connection with because a lot of these people are operating in divination okay you need to be very careful and a hmm. lot of people are being deceived because they don't actually read the word of god they don't so true have a, a relationship with christ don't be a christian and think that you can dabble in traditional healers channelers taros babalawos and the village healer and then you're still going to call yourself a christian at the same time you can't serve two gods at the same time yeah think, oh no this traditional practice is our culture it's not your culture you can't be going to a traditional healer and saying look i need this man to like me i want this woman to like me and it's giving you perfume and liquids to wash in and it says you will attract money it will attract a man that's which yeah you can't force forcibly force force someone she's to saying like the truth using other uh, uh, these things and think it's going to be okay and when a demon is coming into your house and trying to rape you and beat you up you don't know how this is happening i was praying as well for this whole week and a lot of the people that i've prayed with many people have been given demonic objects i remember praying for a woman and literally her, her, her fingers started mm. to burn, her fingers you know her mm. fingers and i was like pull pull from your finger because what had happened is this woman actually got physical ring but when she had put it on it created a spiritual ring oh, to oh. Her into the spiritual realm and this was some of some of the objects that she had was even given like soap to yeah. wash her body with given perfumes to put on herself given pink salt and water we don't do that yeah. in the body of christ if you go to a man of god and he's telling you no wash with this soap uh, and put put the salt in your water and put stones in your water and leave it in your bathroom and here's an object of protection that is divination if you're going to these terrible people they're giving God you mercy. dream catchers to put in God your house so you're not dreaming anymore as a form of protection and if you're giving these perfumes or oils as a way to attract money attraction spells that's demonic and witchcraft and a lot of people will try and get prayed for and deliverance won't work is because you've already come into agreement with these things the money you give to these people you're coming into agreement and forming legal covenants with them and another thing that you'll be hearing man of god from africa will be telling you oh give me this money so that i can buy you this thing and go to the mountain give me this thing so i can buy a cow and i can do sacrifice for you on the mountain jesus christ is yeah the sacrifice that you need you don't need to be giving nobody money and if a man of god is asking you for money to prophesy to you asking you for money to do deliverance for you asking you for money for anything to do with the things of god how is he charging for you yeah so -called gift? that's what that's i don't understand repentance. and this is what i'm gonna warn you guys be very careful with what you come into agreement with be very careful because the demonic